I just finished installing this Apple MagSafe charger in my 2023 Tesla Model Y, and it does true 15 watt charging. So I thought I'd take this video to show anyone else who's interested in doing the same modification, uh, what I had to do and how I routed cables, that sort of thing. So like I said, this is a genuine Apple MagSafe charging puck. It's on a Ram uh, ball mount. And I found a place here by taking the dash off, I found this place where the cable could initially go down inside the dash. I didn't want any cables hanging out the side. So I was also able to find a, uh, a route here behind the, uh, the stock wireless charger that's on the back of this trim piece here. I routed it underneath where the wireless charger goes, underneath this tray, and into the stock compartment that has the OEM USB-C ports. So a pretty straightforward install once you get the cable routed. The hard part is taking everything apart and figuring out how to route the cable. So I'll show you what I had to take apart. It really comes down to just taking two major trim pieces off. The dashboard trim, which goes all the way across the car, and there's lots of YouTube videos that cover how to do that. And then this other large piece of trim here that has the wireless charger in the front of it, and then these two runners that go down the side of the center console next to the uh, driver and passenger. And it's all clips. There's no tools needed other than something to take the clips out for that. I used these. They're from Harbor Freight. The whole set's like nine bucks. These plastic pry tools give you um, a little bit of leverage and they don't, uh, you know, you don't tear fabric or mar anything up like you would with a screwdriver. So definitely don't recommend using a screwdriver. Basically the clips are horizontal and into the side of the center console up to the point where uh, the wireless charger starts. At that point, the clips go vertical here here, 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 and two more up here. So you need to basically pull them sideways um, up to this point. And then after this point, you just need to grab it and pull it upward and away from the center console. And that's uh, that'll come free. Um, the only other thing that I would mention is that you can, if you close the sliding tray, you can actually route the cable through this sort of like plastic grid here that supports the sliding tray cover. The good news is that when the sliding tray opens, uh, it doesn't impede on the cord. There's no pinching or anything. So that way the cable goes through an opening that's already there, no drilling or anything, drops down into your center console uh, storage area, and the, uh, the stock Apple MagSafe cable is about just the right length. The wireless charging that's, that comes on this car, um, unfortunately, is the, is the Qi standard, but it doesn't do the 15-watt uh, max charging that the uh, newer... Uh, iPhones are capable of, so that's why I wanted to get this installed. Okay, here's a test of the Apple MagSafe charger on a RAM mount. iPhone 15 Pro Max attached. And we're charging. Here's where I've got it wired in. In the center console, a little short USB-C cable from the car into this inline meter. We're reading power delivery at the 9 volt level. And amperage is ramping up, as you can see. We're already up to eight watts, nine watts flowing through the meter. Now, of course, this is power th flowing through the meter. It's not exactly the amount of power that the phone is actually receiving due to inefficiency in the two coils that transfer power in the MagSafe system. But so far we're seeing pretty good speeds here. It looks like 11 watts. Let's see how high we go. Phone is just in standby mode. There's 15 watts flowing through the meter. This meter is something I've tested a lot of things with and I've tested the meter and I do trust what it reports for USB power flows. So it's showing 19.7, I think was the highest, 19.8 watts flowing through the charger. Wow, I'd have to say that probably does mean we're getting full on 15 watt charging uh, to the phone from the MagSafe charger. That's pretty great. With the main dash trim piece reinstalled, you can see how the MagSafe cable travels down along the display to this little area to the left of the display mount and tucks into the dash there. And it looks tight, but there's actually plenty of freedom of movement there. And of course it goes down into this, this, this storage area down below where there's similarly lots of freedom of movement. I can still use the stock Tesla charging spots here for uh, wireless charging, at, albeit just a little bit slower rate. But now, I'm thrilled to be able to put my phone in my preferred position, kind of a heads up position, and get up to 15 watts full speed charging out of this MagSafe charging adapter. So that's my modification. I'll 99% of the time have the uh, phone here, but I like that I can also just 
turn it horizontal if I wanted to, and it would only be blocking the uh, park reverse neutral drive. Symbols up here that I don't really need to look at all the time for longer periods of using the phone uh, in another position. Of course, I can loosen the RAM mount and move it to another position pretty easily. In any case, I hope that's helpful to anyone else that's looking for how to route this device through their car. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.